If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here with the October installment of the Craft Vault collaboration with Poet Spice. Every third Friday of the month for the year 2021, we are showcasing items, projects that we've made with things we've had in our stash at least six months. Um, whether we used them six months ago or we've never used them and had them six months ago, we are trying to pull them out and use them. So I have links to every other participant in my description box below. So make sure that you go check everybody's projects out. This month, I have not had a lot of crafting time in the last, well, this month, the last couple of weeks of, um, of this month and the last week of September, I have been um, really busy with work and work conferences, a couple work trips. So I did get one project done, but I was able to use some things that I haven't used in a while. And I'll show you those. And remember when these were all the rage at Michael's, they had these and several other smaller flowers and these they had in clear vellum too i haven't used these in forever so i pulled those out this is an old stamp i have used it um in the last couple months so i have used it but not this particular stamp i think i used um the late um two late birthdays a couple projects ago this is one whoo um came from tuesday morning has march of 18 on there saw these circle nesting dies and so i think i might have used this once when i first got it but i pulled that out to use that i used this recollection card stock and actually i had all these circles already in here a whole stack of circles and i'm not sure why i had so many circles cut out if i was going to do something and didn't i'm not sure but i used a couple of those already cut and then this i haven't used since last fall i pull it out every fall um it's the harvest gathering cardstock from die cuts with a view from 2011 and then last but not least, I pulled out one of my subscription boxes. Um, this is the Paper Craft Society subscription box from August of 2020. And it um, features card making magic. I've done um, sub box ser Sunday series and I featured several of these boxes, but this box comes from the UK and is one of my favorite um, crafting boxes next to Tonic. I'd say Tonic overtook this one. I started this one first and then discovered the Tonic ones. But anyway, um, it comes with a idea book, but let me show you. Well, I'll show you some things in here. It comes with an idea book. It comes with a folder. And then it always has some tissue paper. And then the tissue paper um, are your embellishments and things. So in this one, there were inks. And I did use um, the orange and the green. There are these pack of wooden buttons. I didn't use those. I didn't use the doilies and I did not use the ribbon. So out of here, I just used the inks. But it also always has some type of card in here that has some tips on the back. This one is guide to adhesives. So that's what's in that part. And then we go to the main part, which is this folder. And you open it up and it's a trifold folder and there are dies in here and I use several of the dies I use this one I use the big leaf the tiny leaf I use the outer circle or yeah the outer circle 
and then this piece here um, which coordinates with this particular stamp you see it better this stamp that I used um, that's the only stamp that I use but some of the leaves and things do coordinate with that but I did not use um, those this time just the big spray then I used a piece of this gold paper here it comes in the set and I used some of this paper here and then I used a couple of the die cuts here okay so what I made was a different kind of card for me. I've never made one of these before, but it is one of the rocker type cards. And although it doesn't really rock because the bottom is wavy, <laughs> but it's that style. And what I did was I took that um, large circle die which you can see here and I folded it in half and I did get this idea from the idea book so you fold that in half and what I did was I cut it out of the gold paper that was included in the kit but then I lined it with paper from that die cuts with the view stack so that um, it made it a little bit more sturdy and also followed the color pattern because when you're sitting it you know depending on what angle you could see inside and I didn't want the white paper showing so I thought that was an added touch and then um I used one of the die cuts here and it says sending wishes your way and it has gold foil here is where I used those circles that were already cut out from the Michaels Gold Foil paper. And I layered a couple of them um, to make it more sturdy. Then here is one of the dies that I used. And I just used the die. This one also had a stamp, but I just wanted the gold accents. This orange part here in the back is the spray, and I stamped it out in that orange ink on the orange cardstock that I have inside the card. And then I kind of just, I didn't want it color because I'm not like a colorist, and I didn't want it to turn out bad and not like it. So what I did was I took the ink pad of the green and kind of just, smudge little oops sorry <laughs> mood camera i just smudge little spots of um green ink over the leaves just to give it a little bit of green i used a gold spectrum noir marker in these little um areas here to give it just a little sparkle don't know if you could see that but you could see probably the um the little dots in there but they sparkle then I had colored there's flowers under here and I colored those with not colored but I added some spectrum no our sparkle ink but I just wasn't happy with that so I was like yeah hey, it's just not working for me so I dug and then I found those flowers at Michael's and put those layered those on top which I thought made it better for me and so it has some bling already on there and then i just tucked in a few of the leaves cut out of the same gold paper for some additional accents and then the background paper is the sheet of paper from the kit and i used one of the um die the circle dies to cut that out and then on the back i layered the back with um more of the orange paper i also use another circle die to cut that out and then wishing you a special day to celebrate your birthday was um from that stamp set and then another die cut that says thanks for everything um for the person who's getting this 
it's sort of a duel. It's their birthday and um, just wanting to thank them um, for their years of service at work. And so then on the inside, I put keep this and or my keep this stamp that I made it for you. And I didn't write anything on the outside. I'm going to sign, I mean, on the inside, because I think it's more to be just the stand. So I will sign it here and then make a matching envelope. So that is my project for this time. And I want to thank you for watching. And remember to go check out everybody else's um, projects that's in this collaboration. Their links are below. And thank you so much for watching. And you have a great and a very blessed day. Bye-bye. I wanted to share with you this cute little card that I made. And I'll share with you what I made or what I used. I used this um, Echo Park designer stamp set and I used the All Good Things Come to Those Who Craft. I went way back in the vault and got this My Creative Time background die. Then I used the newer set that I just got which has several different words and then I used the Hello and the friend out of there and then i used this misty and i shared this because i don't know if you guys have seen these or seen people who made ones but this makes a difference i was surprised so you put your stamp in as normal and then you rub this over that instead of pressing down like this and doing all of this you just rub this over and the image came out perfectly so this one came from um, scrapbook.com, but it's from, I believe, LDRS. But anyway, that's a great tool. Anyway, here is the card. And you can see the Hello Friend. And I backed that on a strip of red paper after I used the white shadow because it wasn't standing out enough for me so i just added that extra red in there and then i offset the background zigzag die and then the inside is just a simple um stamp but you could see that image is really great and all i did was rub that tool over it and that worked so if you haven't got one you might think about getting one Thanks for watching.